Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're taking a look at something different. You'll notice first of all on the box there's no text other than just the signature down here which we'll get back to in a moment, but this is the Galaga Fighter. It's a non-scale kit from Wave, so we'll take a look at this. It's going to be a relatively simple kit, but with some cool details and everything, so it's a really interesting design. I like the just design of this ship, so it's a kit that I've wanted to check out for a long time. So really happy I finally got my hands on it. Now, as for the box art, it may look familiar, at least the style of artwork here may look familiar if you're a fan of Machine and Krieger. And the signature down here is the signature of Ko Yokoyama, who is the creator of Machine and Krieger. And he does sometimes do the artwork for other different wave kits that are non-Machine and Krieger kits. So this is an example. And I think there's one or two other examples as well. So this artwork on here, really cool. I love just the design work for this. And just taking a, just a closer up look at the uh, and just take a closer up look at the painting here for the artwork and this looks really cool so it looks great although the base kit uh, like what you actually get here in the box obviously is going to be pretty bare pretty simple here on the bottom of the box you can see basically one of the very few gimmicks that this kit does have is that you can remove this panel here on the side and then you're able to link multiple kits up together like you can kind of see flying there in the background if you bought multiples of this kit you could link a couple of them up together like that by plugging them onto each other there on the side on the ends of the box, we just got the Galaga logo there, the Wave logo down here, non-scale construction kit, Galaga Fighter GFX-D002B. Then on the other side, we got some text here in Japanese and just like a kind of a front and back image of what the kit is going to look like all painted up there. I can only assume this uh, sample build was also painted by Koyokuyama himself. I would probably assume that and just some more text here. So let's just get it opened up and see what this is going to look like. So we got uh, some, this should give you a good sense of the scale of this in this bag that's not sealed anyway but it's kind of like the big main two parts for the body of that so we'll take a look at the runners more here in a moment we do have some poly caps so it doesn't really have any moving parts really as far as i know with it being just basically a ship so i'm not really sure what the poly caps are going to be for but we'll find out we do have like a, just a simple stand for that and then some more detailed parts we have our manual here at the bottom as well as a coloring guide and the water slide decals it looks like all here at the bottom of the box so we'll just take a look at the construction manual first. On the top we have just the box art once again down here just some more information. Parts list just there listed in text. We have A, B, C, D, E runner and then a polycap runner and then the decal sheet. On the back side a guide of where to place the decals on here so it'll show you all that and also just a color guide as well for where to go put the colors on that if you do go for the official color scheme. We have just some more shots of that showing where all the different decals and everything go. The paint colors are located down here and then just some information about the decals. So the construction, I'm assuming this kit is going to have some major seam lines on it though so that's not going to be too big of a deal. I'll have to just deal with that. And the construction is going to be relatively simple as you saw there briefly on the runners. Not a whole lot of parts for this, just a couple of big parts, a couple of detailed parts to go in between, and that's pretty much it. And that just kind of goes on the base like that. I think back around here we just have a little guide about how to link up the kits if you're displaying it with uh, multiple kits together like that. You just remove the panel on the side there like I said and you can just plug it onto each other there with these attachment point parts there. So. On the coloring guide here we have a couple of different variations that you can choose from and so the colors are here so this would be the basic version and this would be the low visibility version. The low visibility version just getting rid of any red this is all blue and then over here we have the basic inverted so between the basic and the basic inverted it's going to be kind of hard to tell the difference I think but basically it's the red and blue are inverted so you have like the big long blue stripes here on the basic and then a little less red on the other on the basic inverted when you have more red and less blue and then the low visibility inverted as well is just going to be getting rid of the blue and just majority red whereas the low visibility and just all blue there so there's a couple of different variants that you get here on this color guide so that's kind of cool and we have this pretty large sheet of water slide decals for this so we've got some really nice decals here up at the top just some kind of generic kind of caution markings there it looks like in black and gray for those and then you have some red ones and other different gray number logos there and the UGSF some cool logos here on the side and so you have the numbers in small and large font these down here I think are supposed to be just different kill markings so you can put those on there if you want those are in black and white and then some more logos like larger logos here in white 
as well. So some really nice water slide decals for this. So then here's just a look at that polycap runner, just a few polycaps there in darker gray. And then runner A going to be the main underside of the ship and a couple other smaller detail parts. You can see the detail on there does look really nice. On the ship itself, you've got a lot of really fine little panel lines on there and then just these detail parts, just a lot of little mechanical details in there. Runner B for the top half of the kit and then a few other smaller detail parts on there as well. Runner C, the main kind of side panels for like the wings, I guess, and then kind of like the uh, cannon underneath and runner D is basically like a copy of just the opposite side a copy of the C runner and then D is in dark gray here instead of that light tan color with just the parts for the base and then a couple other smaller parts on here one for this part which is like kind of the main engine at the back of the kit and so that detail does also look pretty nice there as well so let's head over to the bench and start putting this kit together Alright guys, so seam line removed, primer sprayed, then did a little bit more seam line removal, just kind of touching that up, a little bit more sanding and everything, and here is how it looks after a second coat of primer, and everything on there is all looking good, everything on there fitting good and everything, so we are ready to proceed with the painting. Now my plan for the painting for this, I didn't really necessarily have one, and I was talking with my friend Suresh Nathan there, who is a scale model builder, especially a well-known builder for aircraft and uh, doing a lot of custom building and uh, scratch building of his aircraft models and everything. Anyway, I met him when I went to Chile. He was one of the other guests at uh, the event there in Chile, and I was talking with him and he was talking about the model kit that he was recently painting, which was this. An HE-219 Night Fighter with the German aircraft from World War II anyway, and so the color scheme, the pattern on it looks really super cool. So I was just talking with him about that, how it's made, and I was showing him that I was building this model, and he recommended trying that paint scheme on this model to make a sort of sci-fi, you know, version of that, and I thought, that sounds like a pretty cool idea, I'll give that a try. So basically what I'm going to try to do is to recreate that paint scheme here on the Galaga fighter here to make a Galaga sort of night fighter version of that, so it should be pretty interesting. Now, as for the main colors of that, the camo is what I'm going to need to 
do some practice on. For the main colors, it's relatively simple. It's just supposed to be, I guess, basically black on the underside, and then it's got that kind of like light RLM gray green sort of on the top, which I don't necessarily have exactly, but I've got some colors here that I think are gonna be pretty close, and they're not gonna be exactly super World War II accurate, but they're gonna be, I think, pretty close to that, and it should look still pretty good, so. Uh, here's the two colors that I'm going to use for the underside. I'm just going to use Mr. Color 71 Midnight Blue, which I've talked about using uh, multiple times as a good substitute for black. It's not pure black, but it's a very dark blue color that looks very nice. And then for the top half, uh, we'll do that in number 25 Dark Sea Gray, which is a slightly greenish gray kind of color here. So that'll be for the top. And then for the camo pattern, basically, uh, what he said you need to do is... Uh, use so what i'm here's what i'm going to do which is a, a kind of version of what he was doing with his uh is spraying the camo pattern around uh, using some enamel after the main colors are done in lacquer uh, then i'll use a enamel color and like a light bluish gray color for that and just kind of spraying that around spraying the camo patterns and then using a q-tip or something with some enamel thinner or lighter fluid around in the center to kind of uh, work out the color pattern and so basically what I'm gonna do for now is just lay down the main colors And then I what I need to do is do some practice runs with the color with the camo Make sure that I'm able to do it well and right before we get to doing it on the actual model. Let's go get the main colors laid down anyway for now mm -hmm. 